I've been filming content all afternoon. Today's Sunday. We have a new habit tracker. If you've not kept up. So yeah, I just finished cleaning up my space. I was going to edit the whole, but I'm not going to edit the whole. But I do have some TikToks. So I'm going to scroll on TikTok, find some songs, and then we're going to edit. So yeah, that's what it's been so far. I hope you guys' first week of 2024 has been great. I have been using my habit tracker, and it has really changed the game. And you might think, like, it's only been a week, babe. That's, like, not even that big of a deal. But, like, for me, it's a big deal. I've been really consistent. Like, it's it's like a dopamine rush. I don't know what you call it. But it's it really helps, and it makes me feel good to put my stickers on there and to see, like, all five of those circles have stickers. I don't really, like... Like, yes, Kelly, you're doing it, girl. Yes, Kelly, you're doing it. You know, it's a really nice feeling. So if you struggle with building habits, I suggest you get a habit tracker and put it on your wall. Get some stickers, or even if you just tick it off, it doesn't matter what the what the what you do, but just seeing you checking off those things. I don't know, girl. It does something to me. I started a new job. So that's amazing. And I actually like it. It's so much better than my last job. And it's just nice to just be good, be be starting the new year in like just a more calm, more peaceful state. Like it's it's great. But anyway, I'm gonna add in my TikToks. It's now 9.30 and it's time to wind down. I am drinking a, a glass of kombucha. I like to drink it out of this glass right here because are we seeing it? It's so pretty. I'm about to do some meditation and journal and then I can put my stickers on my thing. It doesn't feel like I'm doing it just to take it off. Because that's not what I'm doing it for, but it just feels good to take it off, like, you know. And this thing is really keeping me accountable, and, like, shout out to this piece of paper. Yeah, I'm going to get into me and my good sisters going to have a conversation. We finna chop it up. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Good morning. Happy Monday. It's 8.30. I have not yet worked out. You know what I'm irritated about? I've been up, as you all saw. I got up, meditated in a journal, and then I started scrolling on TikTok for about an hour. And I'm irritated because I told myself that, like, I want to be productive with my time because I make 2 o'clock to work. I'm making 2 o'clock to work all this week, actually. I'm working the, the, the night shift. So that means that I have my whole mornings to myself. So it wasn't until about 7.45 that I was like, oh, I could start editing. I could have been editing um, my whole lot this time. I could have been getting that together. And then I was about to start and I'm like, no, I want to make breakfast and all because I want to be able to eat lunch before I leave the house. And I don't want to just eat for the sake of eating. I want to actually feel hungry. Then I'm making a later shift that I want to be productive. Whether that's filming something, editing something, planning something, cleaning, whatever the case is, but just being productive with my time, not just laying in bed until it's almost time to get ready and da 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 da. I'm really not eating right now at this time because I was trying to get the angles for y'all. Because you know I'm starting to give the grubs the content. It is fine. But I still have to work out. So, but yeah, girl, we got our protein waffles. So this is what I eat every morning for breakfast. I have two protein waffles. I think it's 10 grams for two, two waffles. And then I have three eggs, which is another 20 grams. And then there's cheese in here, a serving of cheese. I think it's about, it might be just over a serving. And a serving of that cheese is I think seven. So that's 37, I'm sorry. It's more like 35, 36 grams of protein in this breakfast. And then if I added two or three pieces of turkey bacon, it's three grams per slice. So if I had three slices, then that's an extra nine, which will take it to like 44. So I would have almost 50 grams of protein just in my breakfast. And then for lunch today, I have this protein pasta. It ain't got a hell of protein. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I'm really trying to be good at it. And it's a lot easier if I'm honest because I'm so sorry if I'm talking ahead or you can skip. I'm gonna put a time stamp you want to skip forward. It's so much easier because where I was working before was in the city. And so in the city is all the fast food places, just all the like all the foods in the city, right? So there was a KFC, a Mr. Chicken, which is kinda like a I don't know, Bermuda's it's like a KFC, but it's not KFC, it's better than KFC. I used to go there like four times a week, no word alive. But like because now I have to take food to work, because if not then I'm not eating. It's really forcing me to have to eat better or make better choices, which like... God knew what he was doing giving me this drop, man. Man, I'm gonna finish this all. And I'm gonna work out, so I'll talk to you guys. A little bit later. Look. My glass. I was, I stretched and it freaking fell. I was just raving about this glass last night. I'm sad. Good evening guys. I am now back home from work. It is five minutes to nine. I've showered, I've eaten, I've done all the things. The only thing I haven't done is my skin car. And it's giving, we're not doing it tonight. I'm about to, I just rewashed this lace, like the frontal. So Christmas party is tomorrow, I know it's January. But if people do it in January for some reason, sure. So I need to, I'm gonna prep this so that tomorrow morning it's not going to take too long for me to put this on my head. But anyway, before I get into that, you last saw how my glass broke, right? So I have to go into my old drawer to pick up some conditioner. And I said, let me check up so I can see if they have any more of the wine glasses. They did, but not in this color. But they had this glass in the same color. So I picked this glass up. So we're just going to use this one instead. And hopefully I don't break this one. So yeah, tell me about your day. How was your day, babe? How was your day? Mine was good. I think that my new manager, oh shit, so my boss, um, he seems to really like me and he seems to really want me to advance in this company and I am all the way here for it. Like, would you like to see what I'm doing? I don't typically actually do this, but I'm trying to be bad at my installs, so. The girls be like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta hot comb your lace before you put it on your head. It makes installing it so much easier, sir. Can you see, baby, what is given? Scalp. Ah, fuck. 
I'm gonna find something to do for the rest of the evening. Anybody else does this? Like, doesn't it feel so good to just like? I don't know how to explain it, but it feels so good. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna wind on. Find something to watch. What was I watching? Somebody pressed the vlog. Oh, I was finishing off my class with you. Drink my kombucha and call it. Home. finished my nails I used the kiss medium length salon acrylic French they get the job done girl I carry this with me just in case but like I said the last time I did my nails I only lost my thumbnail they lasted for two weeks so I'm intrigued to see how long they last this time I am about to go and film this install now because I need to put this wig on my head and yeah, I've had my breakfast, we've worked all, we've done all, we've meditated, we've done all the things that we need to do this morning, girl. And we still have about, I'm making 2.15, so we have four hours. So I can film, I can also edit, and then I also do want to re-bleach my eyebrows. After I set that video, I think we can get them to that icy blonde that I want. We are up close and personal. So to bleach, I have this blue bleaching powder, and I only have 40 ball. So that's what I use. Oh, we're just going to apply this. Make sure you go back and forth. Covering every strand. I'm going to go in and clean up and just make sure it's not just sitting on my skin for no reason. You feel me? And apparently we can sit here for 30 minutes. So I'm going to leave this for half an hour. I'm going to come back in about 20 minutes. Or maybe like 15 just to check on it. It's 10.55 right now. I'm going to put actually a set a timer. 15 minutes. It's been 27 minutes. I think it worked. The baby wipe is not working though. Oh, we icy wifey. Hey, this trying to baby. me. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm just trying to get the rest of this off. Okay, we are officially blown, blown. Now, next step. Next step is the purple shampoo. She said she leaves it on for five minutes. She like slaps it on her, right? I took the littlest amount, but we're gonna like really saturate our eyebrows with purple shampoo and we're gonna set a timer i'm gonna do even less than five just to be safe because she said she said if you live for too long your eyebrows will turn purple and that's what i need so 
I'm gonna leave it. For, I'm gonna leave it for. I'm gonna leave it for two and a half. Cause the last thing I need is purple eyebrows. Okay, I would literally cry. What if they end up purple? All right, we got thirty seconds. We got thirty seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> she said five, babe. I don't trust five. I don't trust five. If I have to put it on again, I'll put it on again. But I would rather put it on again. I think anything longer, we would have purple eyebrows. All right, I gotta go over it one more time because I need like a wash. We've got an ash blonde brown. Yeah. This was the color I was initially trying to go for. It right ashy babe okay anyway um i'm gonna finish this tiktok and then what are we gonna do i don't know but we've got blonde brows now we know what to do and i love that for me so i'm gonna finish with my tiktok and then we'll be right back i think this is gonna be the one so yeah zara jacket asos top this belt I think I got it from Shein. These are pretty little thing jeans and these shoes are from Steve Madden. I got them when I was in New York City. So yeah, so I think this is what we're going to wear. Eyebrows. So yeah, just this wig by wig company. We're not going to name because the hair quality is just horrendous. And I think I, well, with, with this jacket on, I don't have to. I was, I think I still will. I want to do like a half up, half down kind of with these pieces kind of hanging in my face. So like have it up like that maybe we'll see how much time we have because we only gonna have about 40 minutes if that to do my makeup get dressed da, 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 and leave out the house in time so yeah and then we're gonna add a whole bunch of silver accessories rings on the finger bracelet i have my bangles now so yeah this is the outfit i'm gonna pack it up sit it nicely on my bed so when i get home i can do what i'm gonna do Chillin' fan, blowin' cold breeze on your body I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest You a mood, body giving center views I'm just saying I'm amused But you ain't even flexing And you cool, tatted up, cover rooms, different vibe, you know and proof But you ain't even flexing And you ain't gotta try too hard Number one fan, your side your blood. Let me think about it, side the most. Words go deep, it's like a It's afternoon. My alarm must have went off, and I I turned this off on my on my on my clock. I I need pencil pens. Hold on. I know my jacket. I testing five new. I do that three four times again. I look at my hair. What is happening? <laughs> um. Oh, I put it back. It's crazy. The, it's crazy the things that you do. I, drunk. I, I don't know I don't know if I wash my face but I at least took my makeup off look at my hair my lace is not attached right here I just want that to be known I had too much to drink last night it was an open bar it was an open bar I was doing good you know how you're coasting and you're like yeah, yeah, yeah until you're not good sorry I was doing good until I wasn't and it wasn't until about whenever we laugh it the only thing I don't remember it's the drive home. That's it. Everything else. The whole entire night. The rest of the night I remember. But it's coming home. Everything after leaving. Getting in that car. Not my memory. But um. I was like where's my earrings? I took the earrings out and everything. I really. You know you're like thank you drunk me. For remembering to do X, Y, Z. Because I definitely didn't remember. Earrings out my ears. Rings off my fingers. I think I was walking around with, with makeup on my pants all night. Cause there's makeup on these pants that I don't know where it would have came from, so I'm gonna put these in here. But yeah, like I said, it's it's like it's after nine, and I'm trying to just figure out if I'm alive. I need to go to the grocery store actually. 
Look at my hair. What's happening? I'm like really tired. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I am making two o'clock today. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and then we'll 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 catch up. I'm gonna tell you about my night because it was actually so it was actually so fun. <laughs> it was actually so fun. Um but yeah. We'll, we'll, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get back from the grocery store. But anyway, Christmas party was a vibe. Now, I went there with the intention I'm gonna have a couple drinks. It's gonna be cool, cute. I'm gonna keep it cute. I'm gonna keep it cool. I did keep it cute. You look at sometimes my body, like, it makes it, it tricks me into thinking that I'm a real drinker <laughs> because. I'm like, I'm at like three drinks and three shots and I ain't feeling nothing. Like, what's really tea? I could keep going. I can keep going because I am still feeling sober. Like, what are we saying right now? I don't have to worry about nothing. So, this one um, gas attendant, we was, I was at the bar and he was next to me and we was just talking about what they drink. And he was like, I should, and I was like, I should, honey, too. He's like, I like my chill, da, da, da. I'm like, you give me a chill shot, honey. Like, I, I will shoot, honey, chill or... It doesn't really matter to me, honey, honey. But chilled is it's smoother, yeah. So it's like, well, let's take a shot. So we take a shot. I think we end up taking two, like not back to back, but we end up taking two. And after the second one, he's like, yeah, oh yeah, you could, oh you could hang, like you could drink with me tonight. I'm like, all right, cool. So like he'll just keep finding me throughout the evening, like you wanna like, and I'm like, let's go. <laughs> so in the clip you saw, that was probably shot number six. And I think I had one more shot after that because I had a shot with the boss. And in between the shots, I'm having honey and ginger beers, four drinks and six shots. Who am I? Who am I trying to do? And then I had a glass of Moscato to end the night off. I was like, this is how I'm just going to finish it. We're just going to end it like this. Like, girl, shut the hell up. But it was a vibe. Music was cool. I was with my mom. Um, and then we went to this, this little bar in the city. Never been in there before. This is like back at on. I don't like to call it together, but it's back at on. Like you know what I'm saying. Like that's like, yeah. So we went there. I remember ordering a drink, but I don't know if I finished it. And child, why was I flirting so heavy with um one of the managers? He's younger than me. So what is talking? I don't know what we talking about. We were just having a good time, and then um, I came home. And yeah, so I woke up at nine yesterday as we saw was fighting for my life at work and then i had a headache it just kept getting progressively worse oh my gosh it was just girl girl it was it was a mess <laughs> i was a no more wood but and then this morning i was still struggling i woke up at five at about 5 5 10 5 15 i did some meditation and then i had fallen back asleep i woke up like, again at like 6 20 6 15 6 something like that and i picked up my journal <laughs> I'm like, alright, it's time to journal. <laughs> and I fell back asleep and I woke up at 7 30 and then I journal and I've been up ever since then. But my body, listen, I'm old now. My body does not mm -mm, it I need mm -mm, it, I need three days to recover from drinking, okay? I can't do it. Like I'm still like a little bit disoriented. <laughs> Guys, it's 10 15. Why am I still got the lights on and stuff? What am I doing? Um, why are my keys in my bed? I bought this kombucha at the grocery store yesterday. Was it yesterday that I went to the grocery store? Pineapple peach. I haven't tried this brand before. Kavita kombucha. I'm already giving her a gentle swirl. Make sure you get all the good bits. Let's see. It tastes really good. This is extremely like bubbly. It, all kombucha is extremely bubbly well sometimes i'm just like damn like yeah why did, the bubbles are for what why must there be carbonation in kombucha like you can't make kombucha with no carbonation. i don't like soda 
I don't like bubbly drinks. Like, I want to be able to just drink it. Why am I struggling to drink it? Because it's got bubbles in it. Like, but it tastes wow. Like, good morning, beautiful people. So, I just finished journaling. I want to encourage anybody out here who's on any kind of journey, but specifically if you are a content creator or an aspiring content creator. Baby, you're not aspiring. You are actually, first off, let me correct myself. You are a content creator, period. I know for myself that the numbers can get to me like i said at the beginning of this video a perspective shift that i would like to have a mindset shift that i would like to have is that no matter what the number is it's a lot do you get what i'm saying like i just open up my tiktok and one of my tiktoks has like 440 views or something like that right and i'm like damn like my tiktok ain't doing well like but if you really think about how many people that actually is if I to get a justice were to stand in front of 440 people, babe, I struggle standing in front of 20 people to sing or just, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I were, if I were to stand in front of 440 people, I would not think it's not a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like people have said this before, but I'm trying to, I just want to reiterate it. Like, if you have that perspective shift about the numbers, I think that's what makes it change. Like, at the end of this journaling, at the end of this entry, so this is what I wrote, right? We see big numbers all the time. And I'm saying, like, when you're on your YouTube subscription or if you're on your homepage on YouTube, you see the videos that are doing extremely well, the 30K, the 50K, the 100K view videos. When you're on your For You page, you're going to see TikToks that are doing extremely well because that's just kind of how these platforms work, right? Okay. We see big numbers all the time, so it feels like our little numbers are minuscule. But it's the way we respond to little that determines if we deserve more. And I say that because, like, I'm not religious. Y'all know that I'm not religious. But if you, because it's easy for me to equate this back. The Bible says if you are a good steward of little, then God will give you more, right? If you steward well the things that he gives you, then it shows him that you are deserving. Not deserving, because I don't really like to use that word. Because we're deserving of all the things that we desire, right? But if if you show that you... If you show that you could take care of this little thing right here, then I have faith that you will take care of this big thing over her. Do you get what I'm saying? So if 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 I show that, oh, I'm grateful for the 400 views that I got, like, I understand how, like, how amazing that is. There are people who, there are people who would love to have 400 views. You know what I'm saying? Everybody starts somewhere, like, blase, blase, blah, whatever way you want to affirm this thing to yourself, right? If you can appreciate and genuinely feel happy for the amount that you have then the number will continue to increase consistently in my that's that's my belief but yeah i just i really just want to encourage everybody that you are doing well if you are putting out content that you love if you feel good about it then that's really all that matters yeah i just wanted to come on and say that i'm about to go do my little pilates mommy yeah? We're going to do some working out. packages grow let's unbox let's unbox well, who the fuck right, it's sealed all right whatever I picked up the Good Molecules Nice and Light Brightening Toner. I didn't know I could order Good Molecules on Amazon, so baby, you know what that means. You know what that means. Yeah, I used to use this. They used, I used to get PR from Good Molecules back when I was in university. Yeah? 
I was really an influencer. That's why I sometimes I have to remind myself, girl, you did it once, you can do it again. Like, Bermuda ain't the place to like get the PR, but just like, just have that memory that like you've done this before. And then I also got this, but it's a five pack of glasses. I actually might take these out today because I think I want to wear these today to work. So we'll, let's try the black ones on. And then I'll just put them back in the day. Plus two. Did I get prescription glasses? I bought prescription glasses. What does magnif- I didn't even notice that. I can't even pretend. Like these are actual like- I'm blind with these on my face. Like I cannot even see anything right now. Oh no. This is such an embarrassment. <laughs> I thought that was just for show, babe. So times point one means times one means there's no magnific magnification. I can't even say word. Okay, well, that was a fail. And then I also got these socks. So they're just they're literally just chunky socks. F A I L. F M L. Anyway, I'm gonna go sort out my hair. Because I have work in a little bit and I'm gonna look like a crazy person when I'm gonna work, child, so. Good afternoon! Is it afternoon? My watch is dead. It is afternoon. It can't be morning still, child. It's gotta be like 1 o'clock. Yeah, it's 1 30. I just finished filming. Uh, my winter essentials of video. So now I have to pack up this stuff. I hate that this light is in glasses. That's why I'm really like filming with glasses on when I'm because the ring light just be girl, you just showing your face. This is my show. Why are you on here trying to steal my thunder, bro? What the hell is wrong with you? But yeah, we're gonna clean up. Um I went for a walk this morning. But anyway, you don't care. Let's start cleaning up. This is eating. This is eating. <laughs> this is my favorite part right here, man. Wish you would lie to me. Tell me you wanna be with me and just ride with me. Cause I know I can be everything you need. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. I'm getting too. You know, like, you know, like, so basically, right? The inspo of this right now is like, it's like half truths. And, but it's so good. Like, I'm, it, I'm saying it's so good that I want to release it. But I'm just saying, like, it's such a good, like, vibe that I would like to actually record this and release it to the public. But then he would know. But also, it's not true true. It's only half true. Like, it's a little bit true, some of this. Okay, hold up. Let's try it. Because I know I could be everything you need. Just a shame that you don't see what I see, babe. I... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Mother. 